Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss two topics. One is creation of EFF for sales order header and creation of a sales order header with EFF using REST API. So in the first class, we'll be creating a new EFF for the sales order and for the created EFF, we'll be creating a new sales order with that EFF to just see how it looks like using a REST API. Okay, so let us see how do we configure an EFF for sales order header. So the first thing you have to navigate to the setup and maintenance, search with the task, and the task name is manage extensible flexi field. Manage extensible flexi, flexi fields. It is nothing but EFF we call it as. So search with the name header. And uh, click on edit. Okay. Now, you just click. So as of now here, if you observe, I have four contexts which are already available. I have four contexts on this particular sales order header which are already available. So before creating a new one, just see how the existing looks like and then we'll create a new one. Okay. So I'll just copy the order number which I created just now. Order management. Before the page open, maybe I'll let's see. I'll prefer try to create it, create the new EFF. Okay. So as of now, there are four four contexts which are already available. We'll create a new one. Okay. I'll just click on manage context. Okay, so now click on plus symbol. Now we are creating a new context for the EFF. This is get it open. I think this system is too slow today. Okay, now mention the context name. I'll just say user details or customer details sorry. customer details and then just tab off and the remaining details will get auto populated okay now mention the context usage here click, click on plus symbol here mention the context usage and you have additional header additional header information here Select the additional header information and then click on save. Select single line. Click on save. Single row, sorry. Yeah, now I mentioned this one. Now create a segment, okay? As of now, what we created, we create a context and then we have to create a segment. Okay, so mention here, I'll just say tax, tax or something like this, some column name, tab out, okay. data type, character, and uh, it got populated. Now select the 30 characters one, and nothing to change as of now. All seems okay. Click on save and close. Okay, now once the context is created right so now what we have created what we have done we created a context we created a segment now and we also mentioned the context usages right click on associated categories right so there is nothing it is showing even associated page is not showing anything right okay now click on save and close okay again save and close okay now so in this associated context, it is not showing. It is not showing the latest one which we created. Right? Click on plus symbol here. Search. 
and select the latest one which we created apply and we should see that customer detail contact should be available now okay now click on pages Click on plus symbol. I'll just mention the same thing customer details. Yeah. Usage, usage is again same thing, additional here information. Now, save and close. Then deploy FlexiView. Okay. So once it is deployed successfully, you should be able to see the EFF here. So I'll just, as of now, I'll just click on edit. And once it is done, the next step. The next task, what we want to do is we want to create a sales order header by providing the EFF payload also. Last time we have discussed about how do we create a sales order header. Now in this uh, in this today's session, we'll discuss about how do we create a sales order header by including the EFF payload also. Okay, that's the extra thing we are discussing today. Yep. Now. Go to the sales order page, just refresh once. Click on actions, edit additional information. Okay. I just clicked on customer details. Okay. And click on trainings. Okay. I think some issue with the page. I'll just re navigate. Okay. So, time being, what I'll do is rather than wasting time, I'll just show you how do you create a payload. How do you create a payload with the with the DFF information. So the remaining payload is added as it is. And the only thing which I added today is this one, additional information. So in the additional information, the first thing you have to mention is category. Okay, so the category is this one. And then after category, after category here, if you observe, we have to mention something like this. For each context, if let us say now that for the context, X6 or our trainings context, I want to upload I want to, you know, like a mention, you know, like the values for a particular one of the column called user details. In this one, what I have done, I mentioned, you have to mention like this header EFF. You have to prefix head, like, like in this in this scenario, my EFF context name is XX or our trainings, but you have to prefix with header EFFB and you have to suffix with private vivo. And here mention the context code, the same thing here again. Similarly, in this one also here, if you observe, I prefix with header EFFB, pricing header information, private vivo, then context code, context code I mentioned this one, and the sales channel, this is one of the column in the head pricing header information, private vivo. Okay, so this is the only extra thing you have to follow. Now I'll just copy the my payload, okay, and go to postman. So in the postman, what you have to do, mention the URL. So what is the URL you have to follow? The similar one. So now in the SAS, this is my SAS URL. And this is a REST URI which is mentioned in the documentation. So where is where will you get it? So in the documentation here, if you observe, what is the operation? The post is an operation, and this is a URI which Oracle provided. You just need to suffix prefix with your cloud URL. 
So in my case, the SANS URL is this one. So the final URL which you have to mention in the postman is this one, right? FSCM, click here. Till this part is your, your cloud URL and then the URL. Then mention the URL in the postman and copy the payload into the body section. So now what I'll do is I'll copy the payload. Copy, paste here. And then just make, change this one because I already created with this particular 15 uh, sub, 15 uh, source transaction number. Now I'll just click on send. Now I got the sales order which was created. I'll just copy and see whether the EFFs are updated or not. Okay? I mean to say like whether you got a data with that or not. And similarly we'll validate the data from the BI also. So then we'll clearly understand when you create a DFF, when you create a EFF, in which table it is available, so that you can validate again, or you can retrieve it for the reporting purposes, right? So now I'm just so parallelly I'll open my BI. So this is a BI one. I think it may not be available. Let me reload. Sales or EFF, this is my data model which I created. Header EFF. So I just only join with the header EFF B table, okay? That's the only extra thing which I have done. Mention the header the order number. Now click on data, click on the view. And you have to see two records now. One is for the purpose of pricing header information, and other one is success order training context code. Okay. So in the EFF, what will happen is for each context, it will create a record. You can find out my like if at all if you want to find the table details of sales order you can just refer to this particular block which i created so you have all the queries as well as table details also now if you want to see from ui what you can do now i navigate to the page click on view additional information okay now click on access or trainings yep you're able to see the data right these are details the same i got uploaded and pricing header information also you have to see a particular column value Okay, sales channel or direct. So the sample which I create, which I consider it is from the Oracle documentation, which is the example 41. Okay. You can just observe that one also. Yeah, so this was the one. I add a new order header, extensible flexible to the next. I mean, I have not added to the existing sales order, but I just create a new sales order with the EFF, okay? Similar example, you can find here also, okay? But the only problem is finding out the context and this is a very difficult one. That's why I mentioned, you know, like a sample like this. So if you, if you observe, Oracle also provide the same thing. You just need to suffix with suffix your context with header EFF B, followed by your context name, followed by provide view. This is a, this is a coding you have to follow. There is no other option, okay? And other thing is one more important thing is when you are using the flexible information, whatever the for each context, whatever the API name which is available, that you have to use it in your payload. So now whatever the column name, right? This user details, whatever the API name which is available for that particular context segment, that is the one that is the thing you have to use it. Okay. So yeah, so these are two things which we discussed in this one: creation of the EFF using sales or header and creation of the sales or header with the EFF using REST API. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you.